Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Land Tries Grounded. Uh, this is, uh, it was announced during one of the, the Indie Games Festivals, or maybe Microsoft Game Festival last week. It is a, an online co-op survival game, basically, uh, themed around like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids sort of vibe, where you are, you know, small children who have been made even smaller via some sort of shrink ray, and you're trying to survive in like a true Minecraft style, if that makes sense. Um... I, I have not seen this played, but I have seen that people have been playing it. It's in early access, and it is 40 bucks on Steam. Which is a little steep, but, you know, for a game that's being developed by Obsidian, is certainly not out of the question. Um, look, I'm not an arachnophobic, but if you are, I understand, okay? I'm not gonna make a joke about that. Put me in the single-player new game. It, what I was gonna say, though, is it's available on Microsoft Game Pass. For free! How about that? Because it is published by Microsoft Game Studio. I will be Pete. Peter. That's me. me Pete. That's that's me right there. Ready for adventure. He's even the only one that appears to have voice lines right now. Send me. Um, probably the thing that people are going to be most interested in finding out is like, how's the online co-op? I got no idea. Okay, I ain't got any friends. Maybe by this, someone will see this video and be like, Hey, NL, let's play uh, Grounded together. But no, honestly, I just haven't asked anybody. Um, the way I understand this, though, is like it's a survival game, not unlike, for example, The Forest. And, uh, and our goal is going to be to survive, but also to like build a base and maybe even thrive. Remember your scout training. Step one, get your bearings. Step one, get your bearings. All right. People have been pogged up for this. I'm interested to see uh, how we do. Give me a pebblet, please. Space has been... We have proven space is jump. No problem there. Shift is run. Also not a problem. Look at that. We're running through the 90s. Track the strange signal to its source. If you'll excuse me, first we're going to get some sap. And don't forget about crouching. We can now create a torch as well. I don't know if that seems like a good idea given our current uh, situation being in the middle of the forest. All right, Pete. What are we doing here, buddy? Interact with the computer. All right. Uh, you got you to turn it on down here, right? Okay, analyze, maybe? Logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around. Maybe if I keep searching, I'll find some clues. If you give me a moment, I'm just going to crank it up a little bit. Crank up the volume. I'm going to raise it for me as well. Uh, I haven't played a survival game in a long time, so I'm eager to see how this works. Actually, the one I've been playing semi-recently is... Uh, Kate and I have been playing some Raft together, um, which is always fun. But I'm interested to see how this one works, too. All right, do me a favor. Analyze this rock. It's a rock. Analysis complete. 20 raw science. You have deciphered the pebblet axe. Do me a favor. Analyze this sap. Maple syrup. You can make a plant lamp, a workbench, and a sconce. We've only been here for two seconds. We've already invented wall sconces. How about that? What a world. I will say, I hate to be picky. I never used to be a picky gamer. But in terms of, like, display... Um... I think I want the field of view to be, like... 105. <laughs> I've become a snob about stuff like that. Okay, that feels a little bit more up my alley. Hello, Mr. Ants. Hello. Give me some more pebblets right now. You know we're going to need pebblets. You know we're going to need sap to do whatever we're trying to do. You stay away from me, okay? Don't get any big ideas. That being said, I have no idea what our next step is. Maybe we get one more thing to analyze using the computer. Or do we have a quest? Investigate surroundings. Find more evidence. All right, I can do that. What about a sprig? And go back to your geodesic biodome. And maybe it's uh, like a green onion or something like that. You can make a spiky sprig and a trail marker. All right. Close that up. All right, let's sprint. Send it. You guys got anything for me over here? I don't really want to get in a fight with you right off the bat. See, like, you seem cool to me. That being said, I believe I will take the gnat corpse. As long as you don't mind, this belongs to me now. Look at... probably the size of a... a bathroom scale? It seems fair. What are we doing on the inside of this? It's a computer chip. It's in, we're inside a 
Elon Musk's iPhone. Investigate the mysterious machine. What if we just start smashing it, dude? You know we gotta go to Rock City here. Hit, hit some switches. No! <laughs> Investigate. The mysterious machine. I'm investigating. I'm investigating. I'm jumping. I don't know. We've, we've gone on the inside. Maybe we're looking for something on the outside. How about this? Check this out. Hey, Peter. You got hops? Confirmed hops? Okay. What the heck is that? It's a fly? Hold on. Hold on. Get ready. Aim beast. It's called aim beast, sweetheart. I thought I could ice it and maybe get some dinner. What about... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, push. <laughs> oh, get out of there! <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay, we're... we're uh, I wasn't paying attention. Tutorial, find water. <laughs> I'm just too busy trying to take out this gnat, dude. You get out of here. I'm running out of pebblets. Find and eat some food. Hold on. I wasn't paying attention. You hit the target and a trio of lasers shot out from the giant mechanical, mechanical towers around the yard. Some of the lasers seem off, though. If you ever want to get to the bottom of what the mysterious machine does, it looks like you'll have to fix them. Find whatever is weakening and blocking one of the lasers. Find and eat some... Are you... You got a freaking problem? If you got a problem, don't let me stop you. I'll have you know I'm a professional Call of Duty streamer. You stand no chance against me. Alright, um, can we just eat this? Greasy meat from a gnat. Eating this raw isn't a good idea, but the fatty cut suggests it will crisp up nicely over a flame. How about crafting? We should loot until maybe we can make an axe. And then... Even more so than an axe. Hold on, what does a workbench do? Crafting of armors and weapons. Alright, I think, I think we need some resources. Find, drink some water. I mean, look, slurp it up. Gagging. Oh, find clean water. Yo, you got a problem? I'm not messing with you, okay? Pick and eat a mushroom. I can pick and eat a mushroom. That doesn't bother me. So far, this seems like like a very polished... Um, I mean, I don't want to say a very polished Minecraft. Because that kind of doesn't make any sense. Minecraft is already, like... You know, it's, it's well made. Um, but this seems, like, very well done. This does not have the trademark kind of early access jank. Uh, that, a, that a lot of survival games have. Uh, and I, I will say as well, this isn't even like the, uh, like the, I don't want to say the way it's designed to be played, but I'm pretty sure that this is more, uh, meant for like online survival, like a game a la The Forest or something like that. So we're even, we're kind of experiencing it under unfair circumstances, uh, and, and still enjoying it so far for sure. Okay. Especially like free on Game Pass. I, I hate to sound like such a shill, but dude, Game Pass is like... Such an absurd deal. It boggles my mind every time. So we have completed the quest, a small snack. We need to find some clean water and find whatever is weakening one of the lasers. Fair enough. You know what, though? We're, we're very uh, understated for HP. Or for, for hunger, sprouts. I should say. Hey, you don't install Brussels sprouts here, okay? We we love the most un unappreciated member of the Cabbage family. On this show, we stand. Yo, what is... Clean water! Need to boil it. Slurp it up. Alright. Find whatever is weakening one of the lasers and unblock the obstructed laser. If you'll just give me some plant fibers in the interim period... Take me back to Laser Town, please. Let's see how we're doing. We do need to make some tools soon, but I, I honestly think we're doing a decent job of gathering. Alright, what, what the... If you had not a game to play if you got like an insect fear, for sure. Alright, so... The laser's being blocked... ...by something. Which one's... You're being blocked. And you're being weakened. So the blocking is easy enough. We gotta cut down this thing with an axe. In order to craft an axe, 
we need one woven fiber. In order to make a woven fiber, I really feel like we, we need to research like plant fibers or something like that. Maybe we need to look around for another science building. But wait, woven fiber, what are you? Go to entry. We don't know yet. I believe we don't know yet. Can we make a workbench to maybe figure it out? Hold on. Dry grass chunk. I think we need to make tools. So a workbench requires sap and grass planks. Can we make a spear? Yes. Okay. How about that? Let, let's do that. Uh, craft and equip that, please. And then, can we make a torch? No, we need woven fibers. Woven fibers! It's the only thing throwing me for a loop right now. Like, plant fiber must be used in woven fiber. Let's, let's go, uh... Let's try to find another scientific location and then research plant fibers. That's my current thinking. I gotta admit, Peter, I didn't think you had it in you. Now, we predominantly... Don't even try it. Hey, excuse me? You want a piece of this? Oh my god! Predominantly? Can I, can I harvest your sap? No. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Completely forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, I, it was probably something related to the fact that if you are afraid of insects, for the love of God, this game is not for you. What on earth is that? A sap clump. I don't... Look, I want it. I don't want to take it from you, though. What about these? Leaves? Can't grab them. You guys got a problem? What are you? What are you? A little freaking flea? Go ahead. You don't get me. Look at that. Oh, you can do a perfect block. Look at that. New crafting ideas. Arrow and might hat. Good to know. Good to know. You know what? There must be one other resource that we can grab. Dry grass chunk. I think, well, probably like more than one other resource we can grab. Because I have not yet seen the recipe for woven fiber pop up. I'm not, my quarrel is not with you. My quarrel is with the mites. There is also a day-night cycle. Dry grass chunk. So I, I'm worried about what happens if we're not ready for when night comes. The other thing, okay, we'll, we'll just like loop back around. Maybe there's no more science building, or maybe that, maybe our old science building will still work for us. Hey! I think I found what was weakening uh, the laser. Craft and equip a torch when venturing into dark areas. Unfortunately, I can't. Uh, requires a workbench? No. Missing ingredients. Well, this is... pretty bad. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they're on me, boys. They're on me and they're not letting go. Good block. Wasn't necessary, but a good block. Oh! What the? What do you guys do? Two on one? That's not fair. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay frosty. Well, how about that? We're gonna have to get on the aggressive soon. My god, let Lord low health the mites, dude! Oh god! <laughs> alright, alright, you son of a gun. Go, 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 go! How about one of those? Okay, I wasn't scared for even a brief moment. You know what I will say is I think I might, uh, I think I might craft some fiber bandages. Yeah, how about, how about a couple of those? Um, and that'll be on the number eight, please. Thank you. Um, well, that was spooky. 
Our HP did not improve that much for the record, but... Oh man, that was scary. And this thing's still sparking up a storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for the beetle. And when you go for the beetle, we're hitting you with some flanking shots. The lengths of which you ain't ever seen before. Dude. I don't know what we need might hats for. But if we need might hats, we got might hats. What is V? Oh, the hot pouch, of course. All right. So we still don't have plant fibers. Are you are you fixed? I mean, you no longer help. You no longer appear to be sparking, and that's a start. You hear that, right? <laughs> You guys hear that? It's not just me. What a jump. Okay, take me down. There's got to be one more in here. I know we need the fiber first, but... Be careful, be careful dude. Maybe we can just kite him like so. You won't chase me? Maybe there's a boss down there. Alright. Oh, I see the might. I see the might. Oh, jeez Louise. Don't drink that. Just don't slurp that. Don't slurp that, dude! Everybody's so aggressive here, I don't mean to be in your den. I don't wish to be in your den, okay? Get over it. I'm just trying to survive out here, just like you. What do you think's wow. going on? Oh. The size of that Chunky Chubbs League approved baseball. It's the size of my dang house. It's not the size of your house. It's the size of a baseball dummy. You just got smaller. <laughs> it's like he doesn't even know the elevator pitch. All right, so he... what was that sound? Um, let's craft a couple of bandages and then immediately use them. Oh no, actually our HP is looking pretty good. Eh, whatever, we should use them anyway. Uh, and let's let's get some more food, right? Like these mushrooms are good to go. Seems to me like harvesting mushrooms when you find them is a, is a wise idea. I'm no expert, just going by, by what it feels right. Food is a pretty useful material. Hello, I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare besmirch the beauty of Mother Nature by engaging in violence against such a cute creature. But I swear to God, if you come around and poison me, I'm going to be... Oh, you will be destroyed. I almost feel like... Like I screwed up... Uh, by not researching plant material. And by researching something else, I've actually like held back my... My progress, you know what I mean? Because we're picking stuff up. I just don't know if we're picking up the right stuff. I already have a contentious relationships with tutorial or a contentious relationship with tutorials to begin with. But when I <laughs> when I maybe sequence break the tutorial, I'm it gets even spicier. You're cool. Don't even sweat it, brother. We're we're in the same boat here. We're in the same boat. All right. You and I were both just uh, doing some exploration. I remember where we are here. So a torch is of the utmost importance. But then, like, so we want to cut down one of these lasers. This one is the weak one, which makes perfect sense. We are sorry, we want to cut down this little tree right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, what's going wrong is not inside of the chip here. Hmm. I would just like to make an axe. But to make an axe, right, we need... Woven fibers. Here's what you do, okay? You go Alt-Tab. Grounded woven fiber. How to get woven fiber. This important resource is very easy to get. Find some plant fiber. Take it to the analyzer. And then insert the plant fiber into the analyzer. 
Keep in mind the analyzer only gets three charges initially. So make sure to analyze the plant fiber first. You know what? I gotta say, I hate being right. Grounded, woven fiber, no analyzer. Just give it a second. Maybe we can just walk it back. You need to get plant fiber, analyze it, and then craft it. The first thing I would do is get plant fiber, then take it to the analyzer. All you need now is three plant fiber. All right, well, I mean, so here's the thing. If you take the main path, and we came in through, not here, came in through, is this where the two holes are? No. Where did we where did we enter this thing from? Because maybe like it'll just have more charges for us. So we came in from over here, which means I think that our path originally was over here. Tutorial. Build a lean to. That would be uh decor. <laughs> no, it's in utilities. Three clover leaves and some sprigs. I unfortunately I cannot. We've discovered the ice caps mint container though, which is useful. You remember those? Those icebreaker mints? We're cool. Like, I have no quarrel with the ants. I just wish to encounter the analyzer, if you don't mind. Uh. Hello, large spider. Are you friendly? Help me. Help me. Peter, run for your life. Maybe don't go into the burrow. We still being chased? If I have to engage in conflict, I will, sir. We're cool. We're cool. I'm a friend of the ant. Clearly we went the wrong way, by the way. Drinkable water. Slurpable water. We got to chop it down, I think. All right. So, hate that. I think it goes without saying. I hate that. Um, you're cool. You're cool. I'd just like to find my way back to the analyzer, if you don't mind. And if then, if it doesn't work, I can at least be like, you know what? I researched the wrong thing. I'll take the L on that one. In spite of, like, not doing things right, right out of the gate... And I, I always open myself up in these Northern Lion tribes when you don't understand something right away. Oh, especially if all the streamers and the coal carnages have been playing it on Twitch.tv. I'm aware of... Maybe that made our analyzer stronger? <laughs> I'm aware that I'm going to get some backseating, but that's just, that's just science. I understand it. Is there a map? <laughs> See, that's... That's useful to me. Mysterious machine. Field station baseball. Ice caps mint container. The field station is where we want to go. And this is where we are. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. So staying on this vector should put us reasonably close. Alright. Maybe we'll even uncover some landmarks along the way. Like what the heck is that dude? It's like a wild freaking walkie talkie. Or a juice box. Whatever. Let's not. I'm not going to just slurp up a yellow liquid that I... You know what? It's juice. Look at that. That's just juice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then it's just over this way. Now, the analyzer... And it's getting dark. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not like anti-insect, but I'm still a little spooked. I'm still a little spooked. I'm not going to... not going to deny it. You're good enough. Field state. I can see the geodesic dome. Please allow me to analyze my pant... My pant fiber? My plant fiber. It has charges again. Okay. Plant fiber. Analyze. It must be done. I don't know how it recharges, but... Okay, we got woven fiber. Great work. Analyzing this burlap sack. You hear that sound? 
Next charge in all oh, 20 minutes. I see. Oh, so it's time gated. That's interesting. Now, what do we do with that? Very simple. Craft. Uh, tools. Peblet axe. We need a woven fiber. Which is the whole reason we were there to begin with. Um, woven fiber. Hot craft ingredient. And then peblet axe. Craft and equip. Now, what do we do? Run back to the laser machine. We need some clover to build a lean-to so we can survive the night. You guys are cool in my book, by the way. You guys are cool in my book. You've discovered Peblet Axe. I gotta be honest, by my standards... Um... Being able to get this far in a survival game on my first attempt... Is actually pretty good. Alert. Low stamina. Alright, just, just relax. Look at that. Alright, one of them has been taken care of. Some grass planks. Yo! How about that? What do we need to build a lean-to? Sprigs and clover leaves. Your clovers. Please just... Unload. Thank you. We'll just... We'll, we'll keep these around for the time being. Your clover leaves. Cloverleaf is the name of a bowling lane in my hometown. How about that? Look at you now, Cloverleaf. In one of July's biggest games. Alright. Lean to. Which is in utilities. There you go. Construct. Uh, not a great place to spend your night, but you know what? Raw nat meat spoiled. This is how we'd want to do it, right? Or no, you, you lean to, you want it to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You did it. Build shelter. Use. Set respawn point. Oh, and then sleeping hours are between 8 and 6. What time is it right now? 1935. <laughs> All right, give me some grass planks then. And then, uh, base building. Walls require more grass planks. You require more Vespian gas. Ooh. That's fine. That's fine. Start chopping. I gotta be honest, this seems really good. Survival games, historically, not always my cup of tea. So far with this one, I mean, I, I can see they got elements of, like, you know, Fallout 4, Fallout 76 base building. Um, but at the same time... Why don't you just craft it, dude? Like... Requires four grass planks. Okay. Oh, does it require a workbench? It's nighttime, dude! Run for your life! Are we safe at night? As long as we have a lean-to? It appear We just slept with those planks on us, huh? Is it because we only are holding four? No, we're holding five in our hands as we speak. Anyway, whatever. Uh, this seems really cool so far. This seems like a, a a pretty polished, albeit still in early access, survival game. Um, assuming the online co-op works, this could be a lot of fun. I like what this has got so far. This is a good half-hour preview of what we got going on here. And again, I can't stress enough, this is free on Game Pass. So if you like what you see, you can spend 40 bucks on Steam, but if you have Game Pass... Check it out, brother. Go check it out, I guess is what I'm going to say. I'm going to link to the Steam page in the video description, just in case uh, you do want to pick it up there, and you can learn some more information about the game thusly as well. But for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. Helps me out a great deal. It's the single best way you can help me out if you enjoyed the video, so YouTube shows it to more people. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. We're checking out new games every single day, along with a lot of old favorites. I don't know, like seven videos a day, something casual like that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya!